with Larry Ray. What's good, Larry? What's going on? All right, man. Fight week. It uh, is. Caleb it Plant. Is. That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, how was Ken? It was great, man. He did a great job. He's done everything we asked him to do, and, you know, he was motivated to hold camp. So I'm looking forward to this fight. Absolutely. I mean, well, this is my first time really seeing him up close, and I've always been a Caleb Plant fan, but he's better than what I thought. Yeah. Like, really, really good balance, good feet, good speed, whole nine. Yeah. Um, like, what is it like preparing a fighter of his caliber for a fight of this magnitude? It, first of all, it's a blessing. Secondly, the one thing you got to know if when you train a guy like Caleb is you can't train Caleb like any other fighter. Mm-hmm. He has different attributes and different characteristics that may be extremely different than everyone else. Like you said, he had great feet. He has amazing feet. Mm-hmm. So you have to train that guy up to the level that he is. A lot of boxers may not have great feet. So you have to train him differently. And you have to be able to understand the temperament that comes with a guy like Caleb. Caleb works his ass off. He's not going to cut any corners. He's going to go 100% with everything. And that makes your job easier. Now, do you tailor like your strength and conditioning game plan to the opponent, to, to the actual game plan, or just to what Caleb needs? It's a combination. First of all, you know, we do a baseline level of training, general strength, different area of balance, and also functional movement strength. And then, once the, the lead trainer starts training and we get ready for the camp, then you have to base it around the schedule of the fighter because at the end of the day, he or she is not a, a world-class Olympic athlete, track and field athlete. They are professional boxers, so they have to put boxing first. And so once you get the program of when the days are going to be, days you're going to spar, the days you're going to just train, then you have to wrap your conditioning, whether it's in the weight room and or on the track, tailored to whatever the schedule is. How long is normally one of your camps for a 12-round fight? Uh, typically eight weeks is what, what is typically given to us. But we always, a guy like Caleb, he, he gets in shape before that because he makes himself have consistent structure the entire time. Caleb was in great shape before we even started camp, so it makes it much easier. Now, do you wind them down closer to fight date? Like, how does that work? Absolutely. I mean, here's the thing. As you go up in camp, the rounds go up in sparring, so when the rounds are high, you can't be pushing them at the same level you were pushing them at when camp started, and that's why it's so important to have a pre-camp. And so as we get closer, for a lot of guys, it's weight cut time as well. So you just really monitor what you're doing at that time because you don't want to injure your athlete as well. Okay. What can we expect October 15th? <laughs> you're going to see the same Caleb Plant, but a different Caleb Plant. You're going to see a guy who could always box, but he's going to bring a little bit more grit. He seems so much more explosive, uh, more power. Uh, he's, his mind is really focused on what he needs to do. You're going to see a more poised, controlled Caleb Plant. You know, Caleb has done a lot of things in this sport, but now I think he's really settled into himself and who he is, and he's ready to go in there and do what he needs to do for the rest of his career. Okay. It sounds like you're describing a bad motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I don't usually say that, but Caleb is a bad motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> for sure. Okay.